but you you made a transition, right, from conventional pediatrics into regenerative medicine. How did that happen? So I was uh, home from volunteering in the Ukraine refugee crisis, ended up in the hospital, and I was trying to optimize health and get back on kind of like a normal traditional medical course because my parents were like, can you please just have a normal job? And I was like, okay. I was in the kitchen with a friend of mine and this friend asked me, well, what are your thoughts on brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, Courtney? And I had never heard that term before. So I literally was like, that's not a word. And I said it very <laughs> like, you know, like I didn't learn that in med school. So that wasn't a word. I had a photographic memory, which is a blessing and a curse. I subsequently was then shown the book and then the podcast articles and all of the website descriptions of BDNF, which is indeed a word. And <laughs> it was something that I just was not made aware of yet because when I was in medical school, that wasn't something that we were taught about. You know, that goes without saying, there's a lot of things that have been you know, coming out, but that was so interesting to me. And also, I don't like not knowing something that that can be helpful. So I was like, oh, I need to go learn about this. Learn. Well, that shows you the limit of the medical school education that really a lot of the new things, sometimes people who are lay people may know first. It's an opportunity, right? Because I had no idea this word existed. I'm so glad they said something. And I was like, okay, you are right. I would like to go learn about that now. And then I got a job any place that was giving peptides that helped specifically with improving BDNF like neuron synapse connections, which is a way of making new connections in the brain to help mm -hmm. with cognitive functions.